so we are on our way to one of the world's coolest neighborhoods as named by time out magazine but i think you're going to be shocked when you find out where we're going welcome to margate As you can see, we've picked a cracking day for it. So would you have thought that Margate is one of the coolest neighborhoods in the world? I mean, it is when you look at the, as I say snow, the sand with the wind, that's really cool. It is really cool. <laughs> but it's actually in the top 10 according to Time Out as well. Yeah. So we're gonna go and find out why, even though it's peeing down. Well, actually it's not at the moment, it's just windy and gray and horrible. Which is fine, we can deal with that. But good news is, coffee's cool, right? Yes. So we are starting at the centre here in Margate. We found a coffee place called Curve Coffee the ro that's actually roasted locally. So we're hoping this is going to be really good. It and looks really nice. Hopefully it's going to warm us up as well because though it's wet and windy, it's a bit chilly. It's cold. <laughs> and obviously it's breakfast time, so we've treated ourselves to one of their Chelsea buns because they look really, really good. <laughs> well, that coffee was delicious. Roasted locally as well. The least cool thing here today is definitely the weather. It is. But we're not going to let it spoil our day. We're not. And one of the, the really things, good things... Most of the things we're doing are actually inside anyway. Yeah, that's one of the really good things. We're going to be inside for a lot of this. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of really cool things that we're now going to go and see. Starting with the Shell Grotto. Da, da, da. No one knows about how this Shell Grotto came about, from what I know. And I've wanted to go here for a long time. And so I'm sure there was something like four point something million shells in it. Well, we'll find out. Let's go. Okay, so we've just entered the grotto. I feel like I'm going really deep underground. <laughs> <laughs> you can instantly feel the uh, temperature difference. I mean, from outside though, it just looks like nothing. It just looks like a house. I think it is a house, isn't it? This I was believe under someone's house. So. And I don't know oh what... wow, I can see it already. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh, this is cool. This is really cool. Now you can see why there's like, what is it, four point something million? We need to read our information, really. I think one of the coolest things about this place is that they don't really know why it's here, what it was used for. No. Whether it's just like a personal folly and somebody got enjoyment out of doing this, whether it was a religious thing, we don't know. But this unnerves me a little bit, the fact that there was a seance held here in 1939. <laughs> Imagine doing like an overnight stay in this room. How creepy would that be? Oh yeah, Imagine when all the lights go off as well, you see nothing in here. Although you did just tell me to look up when I was back there because yeah. I completely missed it. It's like a so dome. There is a bit of light there, but obviously overnight there wouldn't be because it'd be dark. Yeah. I think what's really cool about this though is that the fact it's not just a load of shells stuck to the wall. There's so many intricate patterns. Oh, there's so, so many. So much time has been taken. Like, you, you wouldn't have the patience. Oh, no, I wouldn't. But like some of these are like, like flowers. Also, it's cool. So we've just popped into our favourite coffee shop here in Margate, Cliffs, which is a record shop, and we had a cheeky mocha. While One we... thing I love about that place is they take pride in their drinks. So like they did a little bit of coffee art on the top, and I like that. And the staff are really friendly in there as well. We do love it in there. But it was a perfect place to while away a little bit of time until our time slot for the next thing we're going to do becomes available. And this looks really cool. Neither of us have ever done this before. We're going underground again. We're heading it to does, the Margate It does caves. look really cool. And sod's law, the rain has stopped. Now we're going inside. That's all right, because we can come back out afterwards once we've done the caves and explore a bit more. Here we go, back underground, Margate Caves. I'm excited, I don't know what to expect. I don't know what to expect. I've seen a couple of pictures and you try, I tried to watch a video on YouTube, there's not many. It's been interesting. Here we are. <laughs> also, we've got given lanyards, I feel really important. I do, I feel <laughs> special, I like it. <laughs> nice touch. Mind your head. Yeah, definitely. Okay, this is really cool. We didn't quite realise how big actually was going to be down here. It's huge. I know. I wasn't <laughs> expecting all the paintings on the walls around there. You could. Oh, I knew there was paintings. I saw pictures, but I didn't really look at them. I didn't want to spoil the surprise. Now you could confuse them for like prehistoric cave art, but yeah, they're not because I read online this was actually a chalk mine. So uh... I mean, yeah, you can tell if you just look up, you can tell it's a chalk mine. Everywhere we go, there's always steps. <laughs> always. There's always steps. <laughs> But this is incredible, look. I can't believe it. Who would have thought this was down here? Because I, for sure, did not know this was down here. <laughs> this is so much cooler than I was expecting. I prefer this to the grotto. I know they're two completely different things. This is a lot bigger. Oh well, yeah, a lot bigger. It's actually a lot warmer down here than I thought. I thought it was gonna be quite cold, but it's not. It's been nice shelter this time of the year, actually, with the weather outside. Oh, 
don't look down. Oh, what's down there? That's a long way. That looks really eerie and scary. And That's mm. under our feet. <laughs> Josh has found where he wants to live. Welcome to my crib. Want to come in? <laughs> take a good look around. There's not a lot. I was going to say, it won't take a lot. This is the dummy. <laughs> I'm sure that's the stairway. We just overheard the man saying that there used to be a shed above here and used to pay 50p and they used to let you come down here by yourself. I don't know how I feel about that. That's a big step. They've even got us immortalised in chalk. <laughs> you cheek. There's even some carvings. Oh look, yeah, there's some more up here as well. Yeah, that one's not very uh, nerving, is it? No, not really, but I wonder what that is. You know you're in a cool neighbourhood when there's a mural of Sir David Attenborough on the wall. Well, I don't know about you, I'm getting hungry. Do you know what? I was about to say, I'm absolutely starving. Even though we've done a lot of walking and we're burning a lot of calories, I still need some food. And also, the wind has picked up massively. <laughs> it has. <laughs> Luckily, like my hat's going to fall off. I know just the place we can go and get something to eat, and it's inside. And it's really cool. And again, I did not know this place existed. So well done, credit to Jason on this one. Okay, so this is probably by far the coolest place we've been today. I feel like in summer this would be absolute heathen, but this is perfect on a rainy day. And there's all different options of food and it smells incredible in here. And it's very warm. This is the old Kent Market. Neither of us knew this existed. No. We've just ordered a pizza, which I'm very excited about because that's all you can smell in this place. Yeah, I feel like our friends in America would appreciate this place. Absolutely. Yeah. Also, I am eyeing this bakery that's right behind Josh at the moment. You they, should see the size of those cherry buttons. And they do really nice sausage rolls. I feel like we might be going home with some more food. Maybe we get one sausage roll and one cherry bun and then we can just half them later. It's a fair deal. Also, there is a full-on double-decker bus in here. It's not open today. I'm hoping it'll be open in the summer when we come back because you can literally sit on top of it and that is really cool. Oh, pizza has arrived. Oh, oh, look at that steam. Oh, that Lovely. smells amazing. <laughs> I'm nice. so hungry. I'm starving. Baked goods purchased. We even picked ourselves up three hot cross buns for 2 50 and they are oh, enormous. So all of this came to like, what, six pounds? 50? 6 50 for three hot cross buns, a cherry bun and a sausage roll. A sausage roll is warm. That is a hidden gem in there. And I can't believe I never knew it was there. I know I've said that about three times. And it doesn't even matter if the weather's gross like today, because it's all indoors as well. It's just a cushy little, cushy? Who's cushy, cushy, mate. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. It's, it's lovely. And if this doesn't prove just how cool this neighbourhood is, nothing will. If you want to see what Margate is like in the summer and even come and visit Dreamland, then click this video here and we will see you over there for some summer fun. Bye!